What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network. Here, continuing our discussion of the Bitcoin Optech Group newsletter. Thanks to all the principals and associates of Bitcoin Optech. Today, newsletter number 29 on January 15th, 2019. This week's newsletter announces a security upgrade for Sea Lightning, describes a paper and additional research into wallets that accidentally revealed their private keys, and lists some notable code changes in popular Bitcoin infrastructure projects. Action items. Upgrade to Sea Lightning version 0.6.3. This release fixes a remote denial of service vulnerability that could be used to crash C Lightning nodes and potentially steal money. See the notable code changes section below for details. This release also includes other less critical bug fixes and some new features. News Weak security nonces discovered. A pre pinned paper by researcher Joachim Breitner and Nadia Henninger describe how they discovered hundreds of Bitcoin private keys by looking for signatures generated using nonces with less than the expected entropy of 256 bits. Independent code archaeology by Gregory Maxwell indicated that the main culprit was probably the BitPay BitCore software, which introduced a bug around July uh, 2014 and released a fix about a month later. Note, BitPay BitCore is unrelated to Bitcoin Core. From there, the bug propagated the software, such as BitPay Copay, that depend on BitCore. About 97% of the failure signature found in the paper are compatible with Maxwell's Copay hypothesis, and the paper provides plausible explanations for most of the remaining 3% of signatures, indicating that users of modern wallets are probably safe provided that they do not continue to use addresses whose bitcoins they spent using earlier vulnerable programs. If you ever use affected versions of BitCore version 1.28 to Bitcoin BitCore version 0.1.35 or Copay version 0.4.1 to 0.4.3 or other vulnerable software, you should create a new wallet file and send all your funds from the old wallet file to an address in the new wallet and discontinue to use the previous wallet file, but don't delete it. When designing software that signs Bitcoin transactions, you should prefer to use peer-reviewed implementations that generate signature nonces deterministically, such as LIPSACP 256K1, which implement RFC 6979. The fast analysis method employed by uh, by the authors of the paper to took advantage of users who engaged in address re reuse. But even keys for addresses that have been reused are vulnerable uh, to attack in the nonce generation, is biased or too small. This can be either through using the same method for keys that were used multiple times, for example, for replace by fee, or through simple brute forcing using baby step, giant step, or pull rod road methods. Notable code changes this week in Bitcoin Core, LND, C Lightning, Eclair, and LibSecP 256K1. A Bitcoin Core change disables the n lock time based anti fee sniping in the most recent block seen by the node had a timestamp eight or more hours ago. Anti-fee sniping attempts to equalize the advantage between honest miners who simply extend the blockchain and dishonest miners who create chain forks in an attempt to steal fees from honest miners. However, when using anti-fee sniping, nodes that have been offline for a while do not know what block is at the tip of the chain, and so they could create multiple transactions offline that would all use the same very old n lock time value linking those transactions together in blockchain analysis. This merge fixes the problem with disabling the feature if a node is offline for too long. A C Lightning code change fixes a remote crash bug, which could lead to losses of funds. All unsafe all users are advised to upgrade to version 0.6.3 to get a fix for this issue. The vulnerability allows a peer to crash your Lightning C Lightning node by trying to get you to accept a payment with a smaller time lock than your node allows. If a crash if a crash node remains shut down for too long, it's possible for an attacker to steal from it if they previously opened a channel with that node. 
though the attacker must risk their own money to attempt the attack. And so nodes can pretend to be offline in order to take money from any attacker, which is hoped to be f enough of a risk to discourage most attackers. Another C Lightning update updates the list peer RPCs channel output to include a private flag indicating whether the channel is being announced to peers or not. And another C Lightning change disables plugins by default, put ads, but adds a configuration option, enable plugins, to enable them at startup. Plugins may be re-enabled by default for a future release when the entire plugin API has been implemented. And a eclair change has changed the way that payment routes are calculated. Previously, routes were calculated from the spender to the receiver, and now they're calculated from the receiver to the spender. This fixes a problem where the node was miscalculating fees. Peers, you got to subscribe to the Bitcoin Optech newsletter to get all this information condensed into your email inbox every single week. Again, thank you to all the amazing contributors of the Bitcoin Optech organization. Thank you very much and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.